Welcome everybody, my name is Senpai Kira, and we're back for our Fatal Frame run. We actually made it to part 10, and we got about, I don't know, maybe uh, four more episodes after this? And uh, we're actually done with Fatal Frame 3. So anyway, we're doing chapter 10 back as Kei Makura. So sit back, and let's do this. Okay, so we're back as Kea Makura. And he actually has a lot of things to do in this chapter. Seriously, there's a lot of things he must do. Okay. We shall follow that apparition. We'll be collecting all of these things. Because it's going to help us along the way. We actually need to fight her off because she has the Diantis key, which we'll be needing. And I'd say this place is not actually a good place to fight her. All right, so let's ready our viewfinder. to spam her with all this cheap fatal frames. Where are you at? Come out. Probably need one more to go. And that's it. There is something shiny on the floor where the ghost was. And we got the Diantis key, which we'll be needing. That's the only reason why we fought her in the first place. So, let's head out and use this key. And I think this small door over here is the place where you're gonna use it. Okay. Let's use that key. Check out what is beyond. She actually wasted a lot of our points. Or, uh, <laughs> not our points, but the Type 14 film. No matter. I don't think we'll be needing this since we have uh, already one in hand or on hand. What? That well is so convenient. If you don't want to have a baby, just throw it in. Okay. Let's head to this area.
So I'm actually going back to the uh, first area. This area, I'd say, because I want to use K and uh, try to get him to push all of those blockage all around the manor. There's actually three blockages. And I think we already cleared at least one of it. Okay, sure has a very nasty camera. Okay, let's try to upgrade. So like I said earlier, we already pushed one of those uh, blockages. And this is the second one. There's gonna be one more later. And we gotta move all of this uh, blockage because later on, when the miasma has already taken over the whole place, it's gonna be very, very hard for us if we don't have these shortcuts opened for the next chapters. Seriously, there's a ghost here? I don't actually see any ghosts. Nor is the uh, camera obscura, or the filament, is reacting to it. Wherever that ghost is, it's probably down there. No matter. Okay, so we got our uh, zero film, which is going to be very useful for us. There is a book on the floor. Purple Diary 4. The manor has been closed off due to the unleashing, yet I'm not allowed to go outside. I wonder if I'm destined to remain in solitude forever. I can already remember his face vaguely. That picture he left. That last earring he left. I left them all back in the manor. It's all so hazy now. It seems like it was all just a dream. I, at least, wanted him to just see my hair. Hmm. She really You'll is weird. Alright, so we got- we've managed to capture that apparition just now. Okay. Looks like there's a... some sort of passage. Okay. Hidden under the floor is a ladder leading down. I think I can get down from here. Okay, so let's... Let's go down. Change our film first. Okay, looks like we're gonna fight her one more. Just one more time, we are gonna fight her. But let's get a secure place to fight her first. I'd say this is the best spot. I didn't actually want to use that as uh, zero film. But we have so much battles to go. And we can't afford to lose any more of this film. I've found a part of the camera obscura. 
You have acquired upgrade lens pierce. Okay. Upgrade lens pierce. Shot effect increases damage. Points needed is two. Lent of effect increased temporarily increases the damage inflicted on a photographed ghost. As it temporarily increases the amount of damage, it is useful for ghosts with high HP. Okay. I like that. Because we've been experiencing a lot of this ghost with high HP. Let's quickly grab this. Herbal medicine. Okay. So let's head back. There's this area that I want to check first. And uh, remove that blockage. Like I said earlier. Alright. Should be here somewhere. And I hope we don't need to fight any more ghosts. Because... We are we already used up the zero film. And there's actually a few more film here. Kay's camera is not very uh very powerful, unlike Ray's and uh, Miku. Do we have enough points for upgrade? Ten thousand. Looks like not yet. I should avoid any fights from here on. Or any more fights, I'd say. So we're just gonna unlock that area. Then after that... It's back to the rope... Uh... No, not the rope hallway, but we're gonna go back to the kimono room. Let's see what's here. Might be something here. Nothing. Okay. This is the blockage I'm uh, actually saying a while ago. That you need to open. Alright. So let's exit from here. And there should be one herbal medicine here. For uh, a type 14 film. Hopefully it's a film. Yes. Okay. It's actually random. Sometimes it's a uh, film. Sometimes it's a herbal medicine. But I think the game is sensing that I don't have enough film with me. Okay. So let's descend. And uh, the next area I want to check is the kimono room. Not actually sure if that ghost is gonna spawn in the kimono room. But let's just uh, cross our fingers that she does. Hopefully, no more ghosts in this area. That kind of sounds like the stroller, Granny. Uh, we can't... We can't actually fight her. She's too powerful for Kay's uh, camera as of the moment. But I actually tried fighting her off... ...with this uh, camera that hasn't been upgraded. Or upgraded, I'd say. Nope. Looks like she's not coming. Probably on hard mode. She will spawn. I'm not so sure just yet. Anyway. Let's try to check all these areas. Just so we don't miss that on anything. It's locked. Because this area is reserved for Miku. Let's check out this area. I 
kind of remember there's a missable ghost here or a collectible ghost I'd say but it's not there I just want to check out this area because I think there's some sort of film here we'll be needing a lot of film in a short while because there's gonna be a battle later so I'm kind of farming some film No film. Damage. Looks like there's nothing here. Okay, let's head back then. There's gonna be more of this beam walking later, I think. Sure is taking his time here. And for some reason, down there, the stroller granny is actually spawning. And like I said earlier, K is not strong enough to battle with that thing. And even though we kill her, we just end up We'll just end up uh, wasting our film. Because she's a very, very strong ghost. Alright. So where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go here. There's going to be one missable ghost here. Okay, so it looks like we're able to take a photo of that. Alright, so from here on, there's going to be a miasma that's going to spread throughout the whole manor. That's why early on, we actually took the time to unlock all of those blockages, because we're going to use that later. What is this? The air is so heavy. It's like some sort of miasma. I can feel something odd in the air around me. That which lies sealed within the manner of sleep. That which lies on the other side of the rift. What could possibly be inside here? I've got to do something about this miasma. The explanation of the purifying light has been added to files. Okay. There's actually a hidden ghost here. See if we can catch it. It's very hard. There you go. 1,000 points. We got some stuff here. Let's check it out. Herbal medicine. Guess there's nothing more back there. Okay. Lots of hidden ghosts here and there. So if we're not careful, we'll miss it. Looks like some sort of crushed man. See what else is back here. It's 
some sort of item. We got another of these, uh, zero film, which is very useful. Let's try to check out if we have enough points here. No, 13,000. Not enough. So, I have a feeling that this double door is locked. Something back here. Sacred water, yes please. Okay, this is it. Let's remove that thick lock. Or thick bar, I'd say. I think there's gonna be more of this missable ghost. We have to make sure we get in. Just 500 points for that. Probably not a very, very hard picture to capture. And we got the uh, second pinwheel. So I think I have an idea where to use that. I think uh, we're gonna use that uh, pinwheel to that uh, ginger door. And whatever lies behind it is gonna be the uh, The thing we're looking for. So let's follow our lead here. Crimson butterfly. I heal me, heal you. What? Where the heck are you? Oh. That's the problem with Kay's camera. It doesn't have this uh, search. Damage. Ah, oh, no, this is so nasty. I actually forgot that Reika is wandering these areas. So, we must stick to our objective. thousand points anything else and <laughs> suddenly this mummy just popped out of nowhere I don't know it wasn't there but suddenly it just popped out of nowhere okay anything here nothing okay here's our clue And our door seems to be unlocked. Let's proceed. There's some sort of presence in this room. I just don't know where it is. Where are you at, damn it? on all, all fours she's back okay an image of something has been caught on the photo probably something to be added to those musty films and now we got this purifying light that'll banish all this miasma there is something on the cloth spread out on the floor. It looks like a candle. It is. Okay. 
something has unlocked. And the miasma is gone. Okay, so we're getting a lot of films here. Type 90, that'll be very useful for us. And by the looks of this, we need to jump from this point to the other. Looks like that Akito guy. I can see the roof of a shrine-like building on the other side. It's a little far, but if I don't think about the height, I could probably jump across. Do it! Do it, Kay! Do you want to jump? Okay. You did it! Now, there's going to be a, um, a ghost in this part. Now, uh, instead on guides that you need to aim your viewfinder down here, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys that this ghost is actually impossible to take picture of because it's actually down here. And there's no way for us to take a picture of her. There she is down there. So according to the, uh, guide of the ghost list or, uh, should I say the complete ghost list for Fatal Frame 3? That particular ghost is not actually uh, capturable, but it only shows you the way where to go next. Okay, so what do we have here? Just trying to check. There might be something here. Got some uh, film, Abyss. Check it out with the projector later. Got another Type 90 film. Yes, please. And our candle is fading really quickly. I want to check if we have one of those stone mirrors. Stone mirror, yeah, we have one. Seven herbal medicine. Yeah, looks like we're pretty much good here. I don't actually know if this uh, apparition is actually capturable, but I just don't want to bother with it anymore. he or she is doing it's probably not a good sign ah what is that there is a candle okay should we take the candle I'm not actually sure if we if we should but I think for the moment I think we shouldn't because uh, that candle is gonna help us later on if the miasma spreads or our candle or our current candle is out we'll actually use that candle let's check out what they have in that altar Okay, the priestess is gone. Where she went, I am not so sure. Okay, seems to be some sort of diary here. An old book is in front of the wood-burning altar. On the spine is written, piercing of the soul. It must refer to some ceremony that took place here. Piercing of the soul tome, let's read through. If the feelings of the lost for those who cross the other side begin to spill into dreams, they shall bring great trouble into this world. 
Those feelings of loss must be etched into the priestess as tattoos in the piercing of the soul. The tattooed priestess who has been engraved with the pain shall then bear that pain into her sleep and calm the troubles of this world. Okay. The altar is arranged with braziers and other equipment used in esoteric Buddhist rituals. In the center lays a pedestal meant to hold a round plate of some sort. There is a small engraving on it. Offer of the mirror etched with the holly and priestess. Perhaps you can fit something into this pedestal. Yes, actually you can. Back away, my friends. Actually getting good at this. Got five more. She is. No, oh, sir. Ah, no, damn it. That's just perfect. Now I have no idea where they are. Missed that second field frame. It's actually hard to fight two of them at the same time. Behind me, behind me. Damage. We got one of them. There's actually one more. It's actually a good thing that we have this film. Otherwise, this fight is gonna be very hard. We're out of film. We use all of that, uh... Type 90 film. And like I predicted earlier, our purifying candle or our purifying light is actually uh, running out. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up here and get that other candle so that all of this uh, miasma will go away. So it's going to run out, basically. But, fortunately, <laughs> we just got up here just in time. We won't allow this nasty miasma to take over us. It's a good thing we didn't take it a while ago. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave here. And exit that double doors a while ago. Here we go. The force holding the door shut has disappeared. Of course. It's those two blind women a while ago. Okay. Time to get up. I kind of have a bad feeling that we used that candle a while ago. 
But anyway, every time... Every time we go to the dream world, all those items will be, uh... What do you call that? Anyway, all those items, when we go back to the dream world, they'll all go to a reset. So those candles will probably be there again. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. Let's develop those films. Oh, good morning. It's raining again. Yeah. You got lots of work today. Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like back when I was a child. Lately, Okay, so it looks like the past. we need to develop those films first. Back when I was a child. Let's get it developed. Then probably uh, Miku will interact later. Okay, where to go? Okay, so we got two films. Let's develop them. Looks like this is that girl who uh, gave us some hint with that candle. It's the second one. This must be the photo I took of the hidden well deep within the house surrounded by sacred rope paper. A woman is peering mournfully into the well. She looks like that ghost with long hair. Just how many children does she have? She's probably having a lot of... Um, children who are men or boys. Because it's said in the ritual... That in their village, boys are not allowed. Where the heck is Miku? She's singing that weird ass song again. Stop singing that creepy song inside my house. Take that photo, damn it. No, I don't think we can take. Take a photo What's of that. What's the matter? What's the matter? Didn't you just hear yourself? I'm sure that he's calling to me. Ray, I left Mafuyu. I left Mafuyu all alone in that place. I came back by myself. I was the only one who was saved. I just want sleep. Miku. Sure has a lot of drama going on here. Mafuyu. No, she's not into it. Anyway, let's check out Yu's room. There might be something up there. Could give us these leads. Guess we can't convince her to work in that kind of state. Nothing here. Nope, nothing there. Not really sure what to do from here on, but... Don't think there's anything else to do but to go to sleep again. So if that's gonna be the case... I think we have one tape here. Do we have one tape to listen to? Nope, we don't. Okay. Let's try to do some reading since we're already here. Let's start with locations. We got about uh, 
one article here. The Hidden Shrine. The area around the sealed shrine was full of evil air. Now that the door is open, the air has escaped and entered the manor. The seal has been broken, and there is no turning back now. Carved into the altar inside the shrine are words offer up the mirror, etched with the holly of the priestess. More of this holly thing. We got three updates. Let's go with Miku. Behind Miku, as she sang the lullaby, I saw Amane, the girl with plaited hair. Maybe Miku is being influenced more by her dreams and Amane than I am. I lost my brother. Were those Amane's words or her own? We're not sure. We'll find out. Okay, next is Tattooed Priestess. The woman who appeared in my dream. Her whole body was covered in a blue tattoo. A ceremony took place inside the shrine to etch her body with the tattoo. Is it true what the old books say? That she was etched with a holly to take on people's pain and sufferings? Could this nightmare be her own holly? Maybe. Alright, so one more. Begging for help. The shrine maiden with plaited hair who called out to Miku for help. She was hiding on the third floor of the library deep within the manor. Crying and calling her brother's name. Hmm. Okay, so let's do a hard save from here on. Okay. Okay, so looks like that's it for this run. Next, we're going to be doing R11, and uh, we're going to be back as Miku. And it's going to be her turn to wander the manor. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on R11. Peace out.